There is always something that you can tell people that will make them sit up. Storytelling turns out to be the most seductive art of all. My name is Tim Radford. I used to be science editor of The Guardian. I now describe myself as a freelance. I will admit to the label science writer, but I don't actually care for it because I don't think there's anything privileged about writing about science. There are three great stories in science. One is where the universe came from. One is where life came from and one is where we came from and if you do if you run a, a sort of little analysis of popular science stories the what the things that people like to read the things that people are thrilled to find out about they all fit into that bracket somewhere when i write i think what is my first sentence until i have the first sentence i don't know that i've got a story at all the recipe for this is actually quite hard to work out, but it, it's nearly always simple. It nearly always sums up the whole story all in one sentence, but leaves you wanting more. It leaves the question how or why unanswered, but it tells you the what, when and where quite often. People don't like to be patronised and they don't like to be lectured, but they do like to be thrilled. But you still have to remember not to take science seriously. That's the important thing. You take the person you're talking to seriously, you take the reader very seriously indeed, you take the truth seriously. But the idea that you take science seriously is a way of guaranteeing that people will start yawning and switch off. You cannot be pompous or self-regarding or reverential when you write. What's going on in science is so exciting that it seems ridiculous that you wouldn't want to tell people. You can tell people things that have never been written before and three or four times in a lifetime you will get the chance to write things that you could not have imagined ever writing before. And that's just so wonderful that I, even if people didn't need to know about science, I'd tell them. <laughs>